holy words long preserved for our work in this world there is sound with God's own heart oh let the ancient words in words of life Words of hope give us strength, help us cope in this world where we roam. Oh, let the ancient words ancient words ever true. it one more time. Ancient words ever true changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts oh let the ancient God's basic financial systems are revealed in scripture. God's basic financial systems are revealed in scripture. I will give you a few of them. God's basic financial systems. Number one, blessing. Or you put the blessing. The blessing. What is the blessing? The blessing is a spiritual empowerment to prosper. A spiritual empowerment to succeed it is a supernatural resource a heavenly resource the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 and God blessed them and said to them be fruitful multiply replenish the earth subdue it and have dominion in Ephesians 1 verse 3 the Bible says blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing to every child of God. Firstly, when God created man, upon man was conferred that blessing. And for every child of God in the kingdom, the blessing is our heritage. Our heritage in Christ Jesus. So the first system that you must engage as far as finance is concerned in the kingdom is the understanding of the blessing. That understanding is what will stop you from rushing to do any and everything to be wealthy. He said, you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. So that through his poverty, you will become rich. I know that you are not seeing it physically around your life. But it is true, it is good to operate with that mentality that you are blessed. It means that you can never be stranded. Number two, productivity. Is someone getting blessed? Productivity. Genesis 8 verse 22 says, While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night will not cease. It is a universal law that God has placed that there must be a season of sowing and reaping. This is what governs what I call the law of productivity. Now that you know that you are blessed, it is important that your life begins to produce value that is well packaged and that is sold 
or delivered or distributed to a targeted consumer base. So, when God blesses you, part of it is for your consumption. The other part is for you to engage productivity. That you are able to invest it. That you are able to trade with it. You are able to do something with it that can be packaged into goods and services and delivered to a target consumer base. And when you are able to do that, there is no way money will be far from you. So in the law of productivity, there are two kinds of investments a man can make. When we are talking about seed, we are not just talking, I'm using agricultural term. But it can be anything. It can even be knowledge. That there is a skill or skill. There is a skill you can have and you can trade with it for it to begin to produce for you instantly. Some of you cannot do anything but your minds, your minds are blessed. You in, in 30 minutes you can cook up great business ideas. Now, can't you sit down and learn how to write a business proposal? And then all those ideas, translate them into different proposal. Open a website or open a social media account and transact with it. You don't have products but you have information you can sell. Some of you, you can't do anything but you can write. Do you know you can take the message of a man of God and transcribe it to a book? Tell me when that book sells on Amazon if you will not have your share. There is something you can do. It's just laziness that will not allow us to expand. And, and you see, there are certain levels of favor where you see God delaying it from coming. It may be a sign God telling you there is more capacity that you can gather. Productivity. Somebody shout productivity. We don't have time. Let's hurry. Number three, giving. Another system, giving. I discovered that part of the problem is that many people, do, first of all, don't believe in giving. That's why they even struggle with tithe. Title that God say is my own. Let's rush. We are at what now? Number three. And then finally, for now, let's, let's just bring it here. For now. Number four, value. That's another system. Value. The law of transformation. Creating value that is needed and useful for transactional purpose. The blessing, number one, that is one of the systems, the financial systems. Number two, productivity. Number three, giving. Number four, value. Creating value that is useful for transactional purpose. And then number five, dominion. We'll explain dominion another day. I want us to finish quickly now so we can pray. 